Hits that one a ton toward right field. It's headed for the wall, and it's over the wall. It's a grand slam home run for Brooke Bernard. There was a day, a beautiful day for you. <laughs> you hit two grand slams in one game. Uh, that's memorable. Was it your best day as an offensive player at Jewel? Is that a uh, foregone conclusion? I think probably best day. I know I've gone three for three before, but never hit two grand slams in one, actually. No, not never, so... Well, actually, probably yeah. The two grand day. two grand slams are one thing, but you had a really hard hit single up the middle too. You may have hit that one harder. I don't know <laughs> because it was a shot up the middle. But the two grand slams got a lot of attention. Yeah, they did. Um, I don't. I'm thinking that's probably my best best hitting game. Um, I mean, I've hit probably just one. Grand slam in the game, and that's it. So, yeah. Well, Dustin Combs brought a, a fact up that there have only been 10 people that have ever hit two grand slams in <laughs> one game before in Division Two. You're one of them. So, does that, how has that affected you when people come to say hi or anything? Has it raised your expectations? Um, people are kind of just like, oh, how'd you do that? And I'm like, I really don't know. <laughs> you just have to focus a lot more on. Um, but yeah, I couldn't have done it without my teammates on base every time. So sure. yeah. yeah, it's pretty great. After the first one, you got a chance to hit uh, a few innings later with the bases loaded again. Did it ever cross your mind? Uh, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of did. Um, I was just like, "Wow, bases are loaded again. I'm gonna have to do something." And chances are, pitch came and I took it middle of the field. So yeah. Two outs. Hit well towards center field and deep, and it is gone for the second home run of the day and the second grand slam of the day for Brooke Bernard. Last, uh, I guess it was this winter, you were named one of the top 50 players to watch for Player of the Year in Division Two after your great season last year. When you set the all-time record at Jewel for an individual single batting average for a season, did that weigh on your shoulders? It doesn't seem like it has. Um, I think it's always like in the back of my mind. I mean... I try not to think about what I did last year because I don't want it to affect this year, but um, I think people kind of expect more out of me, so I think that's what's probably the hardest. So. Do And how does that uh, affect? I mean, what what happens when you say people expect more out of you? Um, I think people just um, expect when I get up to bat that I'm always going to do good. I'm never going to have my days that I'm not, mm -hmm. not on, but I think... Um, just have to focus and not think about what I did last year. Yeah, well, you've had a lot of days that you've been on this year and uh, hitting the ball again very well this year. How about defensively, though? Playing second base, it's been said to me by a softball coach that the second baseman is the key infield position, <laughs> and you handle that well also. Yeah, I love playing second. Um, actually, I haven't got very many balls this year hit to me, but um, I just I love it. You go through so many practices during the year. You go through so many games, long road trips. Preparation is all through the school year. Why do you do it? What, what do you get out of playing softball at the college level? Um, truthfully, I don't. I just love being with my teammates. I love um, getting the chance to be away from school, and throughout the day, I mean, class is hard. So yeah. I just look forward to practice and look forward to. Playing the games mostly, so. What are you majoring in? What do you want to do after college? Well, I'm majoring in communications and also sports and rec. So, um, but I want to be a dental hygienist. So. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that is really going towards right. that. But, right. Well, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. You know, it's a long road. There's it a is. it's a long road. Uh, there's one thing that uh, somebody asked me to make sure to mention in this interview, and that is your ability uh, to blow engines up a tractor pull. Can you tell me a little <laughs> bit about that? Because uh, that sounds like something that I don't think we've ever discussed on one of these interviews before. Um, you have a history of blowing up engines and well, tractor pulls. Well, um, <laughs> my boyfriend has a truck, <laughs> and he like does the tractor pulls and whatnot. I guess you would call it truck pull. Um, and I drive it sometimes. <laughs> and I tend to blow it up a, a lot. Twice? So. Is that what I mean? Um, actually, probably more than twice. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't get mad, though, so. Well, good. That's, that's yeah. good. Uh, finally, as we wrap this up, would you? I know you're very close to your family. Would you tell us a little bit about your, let's start with your mom and dad. Um, mom and dad, love them. They're always there for me. What are their names? Teresa and Vic. Yeah. Yep. And um, they're just always supportive and, you know, what to say to me after games and know what's not say to me after games. So they've spent a lot of money on softball. And that's what I right. 
really grateful for. And the so. rest of your family? Well, most of my family, <laughs> that's pretty much it. But, yeah, I think um, they're always there for me, my cousins, aunts, uncles. Always big there. family. Oh, right. Oh, big family. All right. <laughs> Hey, we wish you nothing but success the rest Thank of the year. You. It's been so much fun to, to watch you and uh, looking forward to the rest of this year and next year. Uh, and yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah. But uh, keep swinging that hot bath. <laughs> Thank you. Rick Bernard, our guest, and we're back in just a